Hey friends, God bless you. Pastor Mike Purcell from the Believer's Church in Madeira. Just coming on here to uh, just encourage you a little bit on healing. I want to do a little teaching on healing. I'm going to try to keep it brief and short, but I want it to be powerful for you today. I want you to uh, receive this with your heart today. Receive the words of Jesus. Receive the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ and uh, receive the healing power that Jesus uh, has. He died on the cross for you. It says in 1 Peter 2, 24, that by the stripes of Jesus Christ, you are healed or you were healed. You are healed now. That's what the Bible says. So if you believe the Bible, you can receive healing. If you believe what Jesus did on the cross for you, not just to save you from your sin, forgive you of your sin and save your life from hell, but you also believe what the word says about him taking sickness and disease and everything on him that is not of God for you, then you can have what it says. It says really simply in Mark chapter 9, verse 23, it says, Jesus said, if you can believe, all things are possible to them that believe. That word believe there is big. Believe and faith go together. You got to believe the word of God and by faith you believe that it is true. Amen. Amen. So I want to read a story here out of Mark chapter 5. A familiar story with some of us maybe that uh, read the Bible or go to church. But this might be a new story to some of you listening to this today. Okay. So just listen to this. And while you're listening to it, believe that it's true because it is true. I know that this 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 uh, this has manifested in my life. Healing has manifested in my life. Like I've said before, I was healed of leukemia in 2008. And I know it's true. The blood of Jesus was shed for me, just like it was shed for you, to bring healing and salvation and a blessing to your life. Amen? So uh, a story here in Mark chapter 5, there was a woman that was sick, and she knew if she could just get to Jesus and touch Jesus, she would be healed. So I want to read this here, and then I want to comment on these verses just a little bit, and then we'll move on. It says here in Mark chapter 5, uh, let's look at verse... Uh, 25 Mark chapter 5 verse 25 it says now a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years 12 years and had suffered many things from many physicians she went to the doctors she tried to get help nothing was able to help her nothing was happening and all that she had spent all that she had and was no better but actually rather grew worse it says here but then verse 27, listen what it says here. When she heard about Jesus, she, be, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. When she heard about Jesus, today you're listening with your ears today. You're hearing me say this. I get no glory. I get no fame. I get no praise. It's all about Jesus, okay? But you're hearing the words of Jesus today coming out of me, okay? She heard about Jesus she heard what Jesus was doing among the people that believed in him. It said, when she heard about Jesus, she touched his garment. Verse 28, for she said, she said, she heard, then she said, if only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made well. So right now we've already got an operation of believing in faith. Okay, she's believing if I can just get to Jesus, I'm believing what I'm hearing. I've heard that he's healed other people. So if I can get to him, I, if I touch him, I know that power that's in him will come out of him into me and will heal me. And then she, so she believed what she had heard, believe what you're hearing today. And then, and then she said out of her mouth, if I can just touch Jesus, I'll be healed. She said, okay, immediately verse 29. The fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction, or you can say the suffering. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that power or anointing had gone out of him, turned around in the crowd and said, Who touched my clothes? But his disciples said to him, You see the multitude around you, Jesus? And you say, who touched you? That means there was tons of people touching him, around him. He was pushing through the crowd. Everybody was wanting to be around Jesus and receive something from Jesus. And he looked around, verse 32, to see her who had done this. He knew who did it because of her faith. 
He knew who did it because of her faith. She went to Jesus by faith. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing that, that what had happened to her, came and fell down before her and told the whole truth. And verse 34, Jesus said to her, listen what Jesus says, Daughter, your faith. Daughter, your faith has made you well. And then he says, Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. She had heard that Jesus was healing people. What did I say at the beginning? Mark 9, 23. Jesus said, If you can believe, all things are possible to them that believe. She believed that Jesus was a healer. She believed that she could just go touch him, that she would be healed. By faith, she believed. She found Jesus. She touched him. And when she did, she touched him in faith. The reason why we know that she touched him in faith was because power came out of him. And he knew who touched her because of her faith. Come on, somebody. Amen. This is for you today. If you'll believe and receive from Jesus the healing power that he has for you, you can have whatever you believe and whatever you say. Mark chapter 11, verse 23, 24. Those are some good scriptures. Mark chapter 11, verse 23, 24. If you'll believe what you say, you'll have what you say. Amen. If you'll believe it without doubting in your heart, it says in there. Okay. So we see that she was healed because she believed and she went after Jesus. She believed the word of the Lord. Now let's turn over to John. John chapter 5, some other scriptures, just to back up what I'm talking about today. Look, don't believe me, believe the Word of God. It's the Word of God that brings truth. It's the Word of God that brings salvation. It's the Word of God that brings change. God just delivered it to us, and He says, whoever wants to believe it can have exactly what the Word's saying here. You can have. You can have it. Yeah, but that hasn't been happening in my life. Listen, have you been believing? Have you been saying? What's coming out of your mouth? You're going to have what you say, the Bible says. Okay, so I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to prime the pump of your faith, amen? Get your faith going. Believe God. Believe His Word is true, amen? It's not about works. It's about believing God. It's not about how much you can do for God or how many uh, you know, times you pray or how, you know, how good of a Christian you are. It's not what it's about. If you'll do the Word, God will mold you into what He needs you to do and be on this earth, amen? That's a whole other topic. But John chapter 5. This is a story about a man that was crippled and lame. It says in John chapter 5, verse 1, verse 1, it says, After there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went to Jerusalem. Now there is, there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool, which is called in Hebrew Bethesda, having five porches. The word Bethesda there means a place of outpouring, okay? Um, in these, verse 3, in these lay a great multitude of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain time in the pool and stirred up the water. Then whoever stepped in first after the stirring of the water was made well of whatever disease he had. Okay, so you can see that in your mind. The story is created in your mind what was going on there. Now, verse 5. Now, a certain man was, was there who had an infirmity. 38 years he was sick with infirmity. 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he already had been in that condition for a long time, which obviously meant that Jesus walked by this man many, many of times, many, many of times, and allowed the man to lay there and allowed the man to be healed. See, it takes faith, folks. It takes faith. It takes, an oper it takes a, a time. It takes a, a, a destined time, a time that God has for you. If you'll believe and keep believing the Word of God, that is what you're believing, that healing, and whatever it is you're believing for in your body will manifest. It will. Keep believing. Just because you pray and it doesn't happen overnight, that doesn't mean it's not true or not real. Keep believing the Word of God and walking by faith. Amen? That lady we just read about could have just laid at home and just forgot it and just died. But she'd been dealing with it for 12 years. She went to Jesus by faith. She was healed instantly by the power of God. Amen? It says, 38 years, Jesus, listen to this, verse 6. Oh, I love this part. When Jesus saw him lying there, and he knew he had already been there in that condition a long time, Jesus said to him, listen to what Jesus said. Do you want to be made well? Jesus asked him a question. Do you want to be made well? Some people think that's rude. It's not rude. Jesus is like, hey, man, do you want to be made well? 
The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. But while I am com- uh, but while I am coming, another steps down before me. Jesus looked at the man, and this is what he said to him, verse 8. Rise, take up your bed and walk. Now in the original writings here, that word rise means wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Get a hold of this. Understand that healing power is for you. No matter what's going on in your body, no matter what the doctors have said to you, doctors are good. I go to the doctor. I went to the doctor when I was going through leukemia in 2008. He was a help in my life. But the ultimate help was the blood of Jesus Christ that literally obliterated blood cancer out of my body. When they said it would stay there for the rest of my life and always be there, an underlying condition, it is not there anymore. It's gone. The blood of Jesus Christ blew it out of my body. Hallelujah. But I had to believe by faith and thank Him for it and praise Him for it, and it manifested in my body. Jesus says, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Take up your bed and walk. And immediately the man was made well, took up his bed and walked. And that day... Uh, was the Sabbath day. Now that's another teaching we'll get into. But the main thing I want you to focus on here is he was healed by the power of Jesus Christ. He obeyed what Jesus told him to do. Amen? Now as I close here, I want to give you some healing scriptures that you can uh, uh, look up look up to. Isaiah 58, verse 8. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 8. Talks about your health springing forth speedily. Okay? Study those scriptures. Uh, it says in Matthew chapter 4, Verse 23, it says, Jesus went healing all kinds of sickness and disease. Healing is for you today. Doesn't matter what's going on. Spiritually, physically, emotionally, whatever's going on. Uh, Physically, it doesn't matter. God and Jesus will touch you. Amen? Uh, You can look at um, at 3 John chapter 2. Uh, 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 3 John 2. It says, uh, that we that we, he wants us to prosper in everything health he wants us to prosper in financially he wants us to prosper in health uh, you can look at um you can look at uh, let's see here there's so, I got so many here I'm just trying to pull out a few that would really will really bless you first Timothy chapter 6 verse 13 says that God gives life to all things to all things the Bible says in John chapter 10 verse 10 the devil comes to steal kill and destroy but God comes to give life and life more abundantly amen you can look at first Peter 2 24 by the stripes of Jesus Christ you were healed you can look at Isaiah 53 5 he took stripes he took all the affliction he took all the pain all the disease upon his body for you that by his stripes you are healed in Jesus name Amen. I want to pray for you right now. If you got pain in your body, sickness in your body, I want you to believe as I pray the prayer of faith over you, receive that the words I pray are true and believe that Jesus Christ is healed, has healed you. Just like you can believe Jesus is your Savior and receive Him as your Savior, you can believe and receive Him as your healer as well. Amen. So Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for my friends right now that are watching this. Lord, If there's any pain or sickness or disease in their body, I ask you to touch them right now in Jesus' name. I command pain to leave their body. I command that the Word of God flows through them just like Jesus says. Rise, take up your bed, wake up, be healed. I thank you that as they believe in faith, like that woman with the issue of blood, as they believe with faith and as they say, yes, Jesus, your healing is mine. I thank you for healing in my body. I command disease and pain and sickness to leave them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody's been having an issue with blood clots. You're watching this. You've been having an issue with blood clots. In Jesus' name, I command those blood clots to disappear and to go through your body right now without any issue in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, and any other ailment that's going on in your body, I command you to be healed. Headaches, leave. There's someone here that's been having a headache for two days straight. I command headaches to go right now in Jesus' name. Now what's happening is called the word of knowledge. God's showing me things about certain people. So if that was you and I called that out, believe that you're healed right now in Jesus' name. There's always a power gift that's attached to the word of knowledge. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, one of the gifts of the Spirit. Um, Believe that you're healed right now. That power gift is healing right now. Flowing through your body, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you for touching your people right now. If I didn't call out something that you're going through, believe by faith that the word of God is true and you will be made whole in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray this blessed you today. I hope this encourages your faith. 
primes you up, gets you ready for healing. Amen. Believe the word of God. It's true. Anyone can believe it that wants to believe it. Amen. Hey, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube page, Believers Church of Madeira. We're on YouTube. Uh, feel free to follow us or like us on Facebook, Believers Church of Madeira. And you can also watch our live streams on Sunday mornings on our website, BelieversChurchOfMadeira.com. Amen. We would love to have you join us. If you have anything that took place in your body while watching this today, please share with us. Comment in the YouTube there. Let us know. Um, comment on the Facebook. Let us know that Jesus has touched you today. We want to rejoice with you. And we thank God for his healing power. Amen. Be blessed. I love you. Until next time, have a blessed day.